hello friends uh, welcome to an another troubleshooting session so in this uh, session we are going to talk about an uh, out java lang out of memory error which was faced by one of the microservices application so we are going to discuss what was the error this application faced and how, how, what was the approach for us to diagnose the problem and what was the root cause of the problem that's what we are going to discuss in this session okay so friends so this is an a microservice application which is running on aws and this application uh, was running fine it used to run when you deploy it it used to run fine for several uh, few hours and after a few hours it was uh, crashing with java lang out of memory error meta space so that is the kind of the error with which it was it was crashing so uh, friends actually in jvm memory there is uh, four regions there is this eng generation old generation meta space and others so i'm not going to talk about one of these different regions for that i'm giving you a link so you can look into that link so that link talks about what are the different regions in memory so basically in very high level in nutshell eng generation is the region where newly created objects are stored and if the object is going to be living for a longer period they are promoted from the eng generation they are promoted to the old generation right and then after there is a region called meta space see the meta space is the space where the meta data definitions which are required to execute your program are stored so in this region it's not the your objects are stored right your data your customer objects account objects they are not stored here they are stored in the eng generation or old generation so meta space tend to contain the meta data definitions which are required to execute your application basically it contains the class definitions of your application that's what it's going to is residing there and then there is another region which we call as others region so that's where the the code cache the threads and all those things are stored so the moment this application was getting java lang out of memory error in meta space so this indicates that the meta space region in this application is what is having the problem so that's what indicating okay so whenever you want to troubleshoot any out of memory error the best place to start is with the garbage collection log right so friends enabling the garbage collection uh, log on all your production instance i would highly recommend doing that because garbage collection log does not add any noticeable overhead and it has several benefits right uh, but i'm not going to talk about those benefits in this talk right so best way place to start is by enabling the gc log so you can enable the gc log based on the arguments that is going to be given in this description right and it is the garbage collection log and then when we uploaded it through the gcec gcc is a log gc log analysis tool and this tool reported this kind of a report so it was generating all these warnings like it's saying the consecutive full gcs are running and throughput is suffering these kind of things were happening so but here this is the eep usage graph of this of this application this is the eep usage graph of this microservice application you can see during this initial time once the application was started the request comes the memory building up and then it's i see this kind of a sawtooth pattern but after a point in time you see this red triangles running the red triangles indicates they are the full gc events right there is a full garbage collection event when a full garbage collection event runs the entire application pauses and the full garbage collection tries to reclaim the memory from all the regions uh, in, in your java process right so that's what is happening but here you can see it is running repeatedly again and again and again so when garbage collection even when one inst one gc event run it pauses if multiple gc events are going to be running like this the application will be completely pausing it was frozen basically if any request comes they wouldn't be getting any response see uh, from this uh, 11:30 all the way till 12:30 it was going through fine but now this 12:30 it has become pretty much stale like uh, no it wouldn't be processing any request it is just uh, stale like this okay friends but one interesting observation that i want to share with you here is a full gc means it's a full garbage collection event typically runs when your memory is at a peak usage right when your memory is approaching the peak usage if you see this applications maximum eep size is uh, 2.5 gb right and but here 
if you see it hasn't reached the peak the peak is here right 2.5 gb but here even when the memory is at just like a 250 mb just a 10 percentage of the peak we are we are starting to see this problem yes the full gc are running repeatedly right this is a very surprising observation typically full gc is runs when your memory is at the max utilization right uh, so the reason why this is happening is it's because it's not your entire memory is getting saturated right it is just the one region the meta space region is what getting saturated just because that one region is getting saturated the gcs are running because but our when gc runs it's going to pause your entire application right so that's why you see that uh, the full gcs are running even when the memory utilization is so low is it making sense do you guys fo are following what i'm saying or do you have any questions if you have any questions feel free to bring it up uh, so like uh, there was no space in the meta space so that's the reason it was running the full gc correct correct exactly okay. there was no no space in the meta space region that's why the full gcs were running repeatedly right even though there are space in the other region same generation old uh -huh. generation it is there Um, uh but if meta space is getting filled up that's why the full gcs are getting triggered because full gcs are getting triggered it runs on all the region that's why we see this issue okay this is a very interesting pattern right to see this yeah. behavior let's look at the meta space graph here is this meta space graph let's look at that right if you see here starting from 11:30 here you can see the sawtooth pattern going up and down going up and down going up and down but after this 1230 right 1230 it's not able to come down the meta space is not able to come down it is remaining at this uh, even though the gcs are running repeatedly it's not able to come down so it is telling the meta space is getting saturated right so this was the issue so it so it is a meta space which was causing the issue which was growing in trouble so now we need to investigate what goes into this meta space region so that i can understand what goes into this meta space region which is sitting in here which is not getting cleared so that's what is making this uh, microservice application to become unresponsive so we need to understand what's going on so to investigate what uh, what are the contents of meta space uh, there is like a four five approaches which has been given in this description i'll give it in the description what are the approaches to get it so we went for the approach of heap dump analysis right so we went for the heap dump analysis that's not a best preferred approach there are much more lightweight approaches but we went for the heap dump analysis when we captured the heap dump so it was revealing what was revealing was it was revealing a third party library a third party library was uh, creating a new class definition see in natural what is there in meta spaces class definitions the class definitions was goes in so what was the third party library was doing was it was creating new class definitions for every incoming request so that's what it was doing so for every incoming request it was creating new class definitions the metadata definition so it was getting filled up and it was not getting cleared so apparently they were running on a older version of that third party library once they patched it once they upgraded then this problem went away then the meta space started to uh, free up so once meta space started to free up this uh, repeated full gcs went away right so so this is the approach uh, that we took to get to the resolution of the problem uh, th thank you friends for watching this session